September 1994, over 60 children from this school in the suburbs of Harare, Zimbabwe, witnessed several objects landing and two beings coming out. Just over two months later, John and Dominique came to the scene to work with the children, their parents, and the teachers still suffering from shock. John, who essentially specialized in child psychiatry, devoted a great deal of time to interviewing the children. Something scared you, is that right? Is yes. It, what, what scared you? The noise. What noise? The noise that we heard in the air. You heard a noise in the yes. air? What was it like? Like a roar or a buzz or a hum or what kind of a noise? It was like someone was playing a flute. It was scaring myself. It was scary because you saw something yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. I saw little object hovering. It was quite big actually, and then there was little ones all around it. We saw something silver, and then we quickly ran to the, lo to the logs, and we saw a silver, silver thing, and we saw a man standing next to it. Uh, what was it, what did it feel like when he was looking at you? I felt scared. It, it felt scared? What was scary about it? Well, I felt scared because I've never seen such a person like that before. Did you see the eyes? What did they look like? They were um, going like that. Where was the pointy part? It was the pointy part in here or was the pointy part okay. out there? Up there. And what was the feeling when you looked at the eyes? Um, it was scary. Mm -hmm. And what, scary why? What made it scary? The eyes looked evil. Evil? Mm -hmm. And what was evil about them? Mm -hmm. Say what you mean by evil. It, uh, it looked evil because it was just staring at me. With what? Staring at you as if what? As if to do what? As if it wanted to come and take us. As if it wanted to come and take you. That was the feeling you got? That it wanted you to go with it? Did you feel like you wanted to go with it? No. Did you feel... What was the effect on you when, when you felt it wanted to have you go with it? I just um, walked away and I started crying. Both of them were running. One was running um, in the trees and the other one was running, running across the ship. Because mm -hmm. there were also trees here. Mm -hmm. The eyes were, were like more pointed as they came in toward the center of the yes. head, is that? No, more circular. And this was all black in here. All black. Now you've it's made pupils. Did they actually have pupils or yes, was the it the pupils were white. Black? What? The pupils were white like that. And you saw white in the center? Yes, like that. Mm -hmm. Was he near the, uh, the silver object or was he far from? No, on top. On top of the silver yes. object. Okay. And um, did you look at him? Yes. Did he look at you? He gave me the creeps and I stopped looking Gave you the creeps. Actually, in your drawing, you showed him standing up, didn't you? Yes, I had to draw him standing up was up in the room sitting. <laughs> <laughs> what I thought was maybe the, the world's going to end. Maybe they're telling us the world's going to end. Um, well, why do you think they might want us to be scared? <clears throat> Because um, we maybe because we never we don't look after the planet and um, the area properly. Mm -hmm. And let uh, me. This is is this an idea that uh, you have had before that we don't look after the planet properly in the air, or did this idea come to you when you had this experience? When I had this experience. Mm -hmm. And how did that idea come to you from this experience? This is a little hard, but try, try to be with me here, okay? When you, how did this idea come to you when you had this experience? I just felt all horrible inside. You felt horrible. At what point did you feel that? When you saw the craft or at, when you got home at night? Or when I got home. You had that horrible feeling when you got home? Yes. And say more about that horrible feeling, Lisa. What was it like? 
it was like in the world, all the trees will just go down and and there will be no air and people will be dying. Mm -hmm. And those thoughts came to you, had you had those thoughts before this experience? No. No. And did, how did those thoughts come to you? Did they come to you from the craft or from... From the man. The man. And the man, did the man say those things to you? Uh, how did he get that across to you? Well, he never said anything. It's just that the face is the eyes. Well, what was the sense you got from those eyes? He was interested. I, you're, you're, Con Congress, yeah. Congressman Kucinich, I want to move to a different area because uh, yeah. this is a serious, a serious question. The godmother of your daughter, Shirley MacLaine, writes in her new book that you cited a UFO over her home in Washington State, that you found the encounter extremely moving, that it was a triangular craft, silent and hovering, that if you felt a connection to your heart and her directions in your mind. Now, did you see a UFO? Uh, I, I did, and uh, the rest of the account, well, I, I didn't, I, it was unidentified flying object, okay? It's like, it's unidentified, I saw something. Now, to answer your question, um, I'm moving my, it's, and I'm also going to move my campaign office to Roswell, New Mexico, and another one in Exeter, New Hampshire, okay? And, uh, and also, you have to keep in mind that more, that Jimmy Carter saw a UFO, and also that more people in this country uh, uh, have seen UFOs, and I think approve of George Bush's presidency. Actually, four. And, and and so wait, we're just getting started here. No, no. I mean, so, well, we, got, we have about 14 percent of Americans say they have seen UFOs. I'm going to move. What was the percentage? 14 percent. What was I'm, that percentage? 14. Thank you. I want to see. Uh, I'm going to ask Senator Obama a question in the same line. The three astronauts of Apollo 11 who went to the moon back in 1969 all said that they believe there is life beyond Earth. Do you agree? You know, I don't know, and I don't presume to know. What I know is there is life here on Earth, and, and that we're not attending to life here on Earth. Uh, we're not taking care of kids uh, who are alive and unfortunately are not getting health care. We're not taking care of senior citizens who are alive and are seeing their uh, heating prices go up. So as president, those are the people I will be attending to first. Let's, there may be uh, some other folks on their way. Let's, um... <laughs> Before Gordon Cooper entered the space program, he had his own encounter with a different type of space traveler. While flying over San